Hi, Linda. Hi. Back. So you were going to tell me what you had for lunch. Yeah. He said, <laughs> I told him, well, let's get recording because him and I start talking before the show. And I said to him, while well, he was clicking, I said, can I tell you what I had for lunch? I actually met a nice friend for lunch today. I never get out of the house. And uh, it, it was Bianchi, Bianchi or something. It was in Santa Rosa. And uh, the food was delicious. It's so mm. nice to go to a restaurant that they had a salmon salad. Nice. Really nice. Yeah. And she's wonderful. Plus, we had a little cannoli for dessert. Mm. Just nice. a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Sounds nice. Sounds really nice. So what's been on your radar lately? What have you been focused well, on? Well, I'll tell you, my friend, it's just happening. I was just telling you, and I told my people yesterday, after this, I'm going to do another. I got like 400 and something questions. So I'm going to do another spot tonight. But um, the it's clustered, you know what, for Trump. He's really, really gone downhill. He's making, he's messing up in all his speeches. Now he said he's going to do a turnaround on abortion, which is totally pissing off the pro-life people. And now the big wigs in the pro-life community are calling him and saying, you better be specific about what you're talking about. You better give us the specifics so we can decide what to do. Yeah, no, he's, he's between a rock and a hard place. And, and that's, that's what his chart says. It always said this. I mean, I was really, really puzzled by the June, July, you know, that period when it looked like everything was falling his way. Yeah. But now when you look at what it really meant was it was leading him straight into disaster, you know, because he engineered his own demise. And so that makes sense in that, you know, prior to that, if you remember back in April, May, he was in court, he got convicted. Then he went through this period where it looked like he was invincible, including that, you know, the Supreme Court did that thing with the immunity and then Judge Cannon jumps in and she throws the case out, which is now appealed and it's looking like, you know, they're getting oh, reversed. That's because That's yeah. one of the biggest cases for him is stealing that, those rights. Oh, pff, that's, that's a, a slam dunk. You to be a treasonous president. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, who was it that I, I saw was really funny? He used to work for him. That's the other thing with Trump is every person that worked for this guy says, Stay away from him. He's horrible. Uh, Cobb, his name is Cobb. He was uh, early on in the administration. He was one of the lawyers. And he's talking with someone and he said, he said, well, this thing is 55 years worth of charges. And he said, no, he won't get 55. He said, he'll get six to nine. <laughs> so I thought, I thought six to nine. If you give this guy a year, right, a year, you would sink him completely because. Well, I think whole... this one is one of the, I think it, he's not going to make it through all of them though. No, well, that, that's a separate story. But the point being, though, that his legal woes have not gone away. The charge situation going into September and October, really unfavorable because Mars, which is a fairly, it's quick, but it's slow. It's kind of a in-between planet. It spends quite a while in a sign. So it's going to be in its 12th, which is the worst possible place. You don't want it there because that's when people start poking around for criminality, which, of course, is the super easiest thing to do because that's all this guy does. He all day long, he's looking for ways to bypass the law. You know, so uh, I'm sure it'll come up in the debate and in, in, in other places, including that uh, we were talking before we started recording about. So this thing is he going to be uh, uh, sentenced, right? Because it's the 16th and the 18th, and your feeling is that yes, he gets sentenced even if he's not placed in the in jail or anything like that now because yeah. Of, He's yeah, the... I don't know, or house arrest or something. I feel this judge is going to give him a what for. And he knows he's going to be in, sp in spite of, because Trump will try to run with this. But Trump is going on the bad side of his own people now. Now the army is furious at him. Yeah, there's the Arlington thing too, yeah. I mean, it, it's just, it's remarkable. You know, the only thing I can think of, because I'm sure this crosses people's minds, and I've heard more than one person say this, how is it possible that this guy is running against a normal, smart person and there are all these battlegrounds that are super tight? But this is where I heard a historian who shows up on Morning Joe every so often, John Meacham, and he said that in 1868, right after the, the Civil War, there was Ulysses S. Grant, who was, he would be like Joe Biden today. He was the 
you know, the progressive normal person. He was running against some guy named Horatio something who was a total Confederate supporter, right? And John Meacham, this historian said, you would think it would be a 70, 30 or 80, 20 race. He said it was four points and that was back then. So he said, this country is like this, get used to it. The margins are tight. It kind of tells you that there's a large block that is normal and decent and there's a pretty back large then, block. Back women couldn't vote. Yeah, no, right, but even so, yeah, okay, that's true. It would have probably would have been wider, you're right. It yeah. would have been wider, but that, that also tells you like, where are men? I mean, the men today as a block they're would still, vote for Trump. They're still, they're still like that, they're still like that. Yeah, they, yeah they're the still a lot. White men definitely, even black men tend to lean towards Trump, which surprised me. Yeah, well, not 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 overall with black men, but you do see the sometimes. I mean, I to me, it's really puzzling. I saw this focus group, and there was a black guy, I think, in Florida or somewhere, and he was arguing for Trump. And I'm thinking, why would you argue oh, for this guy? That's because he works for Trump. They found out later he was a plant. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. he, well, he was a Trumpster. Okay, they well, didn't do enough background check on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, I mean, bottom line. September is a tough, tough month for him. I'm not saying it's easy for Kamala exactly, but she's cruising pretty nicely, you know, the, the energy Oh, they is were flowing. trying to look, they had microscopes, they were trying to look for something to talk about with her, that where she blew it or what she did wrong. It's like somebody said, hey, there's tape of Mike Waltz not taking his cart back at Costco. <laughs> Yeah, that's about it, really. No. News in the morning. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, they try to be, the unfair part is they try to be, uh, in a sense, too balanced. And that if you saw the one with Dana Bash on CNN, she was really pressing her on on issues that she's changed her mind. People are changing their mind all the time. Trump has changed his mind on three or four huge issues. And they're all, I think you were saying this, they're all related to, to money. Someone, you know, the electric vehicles, TikTok, crypto. He was against all that until someone with money gets involved, and then he just says the opposite. So yeah, they'll say what you want to say, but he know, just changed. He's talking now about about abortions, and the pro life people are furious. And I and they said their the big head honcho of it called him and said, "You need to be specific. What exactly are you saying?" And he wouldn't do it. Yeah, no, and, and I, the thing with this would be that if the uh, Democrats consulted astrology, which I'm sure they don't, but if they did, yeah. it would be, but it's kind of obvious though, so they probably realize this, that because this chart, the most vulnerable part of the chart is with women, obviously, right? So you just want to go there a lot and make that a total central theme. And so for instance, I hope that Kamala in the debate just says, to his face, you're lying. You're making it up because that's going to make him mad. He he's now calling her a liar. Did you notice that? He always does no, that. No, he, like, I guess he did. He said, he yeah. said she she's stupid, stupid and a liar. The latest terrible. one, she li lies, lies, lies. According yeah. to you know, that's funny though. I mean, that's the the pot calling the kettle black. Like, <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? I I would laugh if I were debating. I'd say, honestly, man, really, this is the latest, right? You you lie about every six, seven seconds, there's a disagreement. Some people say six, some people say 10. You're always lying, lying, lying. And now you say that I'm the liar. That's pretty funny. You know? Oh, and then they did that that Twitter feed or whatever with Hillary Clinton and Kamala, and they had the women that went up the, made their careers from BJ's. Oh, you know, yeah. very misogynist, awful comments. And um, it's like, really? Why would you say that? That is just so ugly. But yet you got a rapist, convicted felon. Yeah, no, yeah. And look, I mean, Biden said it in the debate. He just didn't say it, I guess, with enough volume. But I hope Kamala does too. I would say it, you know. Yeah. I'm the prosecutor, you're the felon. This is a pretty I easy... Think she'll do, I think she'll do a good job. Yeah, no, I mean, she's, what she's... My deal is, why did he agree to do it? I just feel he didn't want to do it. Because he sees the numbers. You know, he's very aware of the polls. This guy knows. In fact, he made a comment. I heard him say a while back, I poll lower. It's true. You have to be careful in that uh, the polls, Trump tends to do better than what the polls say. Maybe because people lie about it. I don't know. So there's, there is that to consider. 
but he's paying attention to the polls and he sees there's been this big reversal, right? Where all the states, including North Carolina now. So now instead of six, it's seven battleground states and he's got to defend them all. Or at, well, he's got to be offensive and defensive on all of them. And he has less money and he has less organization because the Democrats have a lot more field offices. They're on, they're on the ground more. And this they're goes on the to ground, what, knocking on doors. He's, he isn't. No, I remember Sean, he was explaining how this is really important because if you're knocking on doors, you're more likely to convince people. So there are a lot of metrics that are going against them. So this is the thing that when I look at this, you know, all this controversy, debate this, Biden that, Kamala the other thing. I always, my, my key feature always was, this guy cannot win with this chart. I don't know how it happens, but he can't win with this chart. That's the bottom right. line. It's too complicated. In 2020, when you look at his chart, was it sort of the same thing you could yeah, see? Yeah, same, same. The 2020, for different reasons, like you had a, there was a direct Saturn hit, which is a no every day of the week, which is what happened, you know, so. Um, I'm puzzled by ast astrologers who want to make the case. They say they see something like Western astrologers. They point to the Jupiter, but what they don't seem to want to, you know, look at is that the Jupiter does a dead stop in October, a little before his sun and directly opposite his moon. This is not a good thing <laughs> because right. his moon rules his prison house. Not cool. This is how you get in trouble. That's also the planet that connects you to elections and winning elections. Well, Jupiter opposing is not helpful. What Jupiter is going to do there is it's going to, first of all, bring out his criminality more, you know, parade it before the world and cause him to exceed, which he does a lot anyway, but expect the insanity of his statements to grow, you know, and get, because he says crazy things like this thing where he repeated it again the other day, where according to him, Democrats, they, uh, they abort babies after they're born, which that means they kill them. Because how do you abort a baby? I worked L and D for twenty years. Never once have I heard that. It's it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's I mean, a total lie. And yeah. you have, and they even have up to six days. But people believe him. Well, yeah, that that's the that's the hard part. That's the margin, you know, where, you know, and it's partly it's that uh, people that live in the, in the countryside, not all obviously, but yeah. as a block, they vote for Republicans no matter what. And then you have people that are looking for tax cuts and they're looking for policies, you know, that are. Uh, well, like yeah, that. the big, the big money people like they really they would vote for someone as ugly as that just to save money on their taxes. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's remarkable. It's remarkable, but that's and that's then what we he are. managed. He managed to get the food and drug. He managed to get the uh, the FDA or somebody off certain organizations. Of, of the Supreme Court also voted. To, and now people are dying from listeria from boris and meat because it's got maggots and everything else in it because they said you guys deal with your pork issue we you're grown it up enough to make sure it's clean and then they just took total advantage of it to save money and now they're killing people yeah i know that, that that's something that you know this goes back years i remember obama in the very early part they were on them, you know, back when McConnell and Boyner and those guys uh, were constantly, you know, attacking him. And at one point he just said, look, I mean, you guys seem to think that we can just get rid of the inspectors. But if you get rid of the inspectors, then you get poisoned meat. <laughs> you know, how do you think this works? Like everybody takes everything for granted. You know, it's only when they realize, oh, that maybe there's some salad or something that has has uh, salmonella or whatever it is. You need people on the ground doing that, you know, and they're people that are mostly invisible but they're necessary. So it's expensive that way, but it's, it's what you have to do, you know? But so, yeah, but the Supreme Court overturned it. Now, it, it's, uh, this is the problem with the, the way the Republican Party has gone. Uh, in fact, I remember uh, a few years ago when Trump was still in power and here in, in Washington state, they were trying to allow people to throw waste matter in the, in the lake. And I thought, well, why would you do that? What, where's the logic of that, you know? It's crazy. It, it's it's so convenient. Well, yeah, but that's not good for the environment. This is the way they think, you know. They yeah, and think. also they were allowing drilling at, uh, at the Grand Canyon. Private organizations to go down and grill, drill in the Grand Canyon. Yeah, and that, that whole thing a is national, a ruse. A national site. It's a ruse anyway, because the, the U.S. now is drills more than ever and has, has more than more oil than it needs and so forth. So 
we make we're one of our own best producers of oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is gonna. This is all gonna. It, it all will boil down to how well Kamala can express herself. But she has a huge advantage chart wise because that for her the Jupiter is really good. It just right. really really helps. Oh yeah, for, for sure. September. It just September. Keeps no, September, October, November. It just goes. You know, it's it's. Boy, you always said it. I remember back when you'd say, you know, Biden's got this and that. But she said, Kamala, she's just really she's she's going forward. It, uh, and so how could she be that happy unless Biden wins? But no, exactly. Yeah. So now, now to me, it's it's actually a lot better. Yeah. How, how can we complain about this? Now you're you're doing something that would be a bigger, much bigger story. You know, if the U.S. votes someone like Kamala in and rebukes this guy, right? It's, it's, the, it's the, in a way, the perfect storm, as I see Well, it. you know, he always got away, and you said this is true. He's always gotten away with everything. But even something as low life as the Arlington thing, this is snapping him in the butt. His, this is, he's not getting away with this. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that, and that, that would tie, you know, whenever you think of veterans and uh, the, any, any theme like that, Saturn, Saturn is not helpful to him in this election. Yeah. It just isn't. So he's going to make more mistakes. But again, you see the, the double standard because the, what they call the mainstream press, like CNN, MSNBC, they're not on it enough that way. You have to make more noise, you know, because Fox will make noise over, like when Obama had a tan suit, you know, they spent two weeks or whatever going on and on about he's got the wrong suit. And this guy, you know, they get into an altercation. They use film. According, you know, one, one of the people I watched, it was funny because uh, uh, JD's explanation was, why is the press getting all angry about this? He was at a cemetery and then there happened to be a camera there. Really? There happened to be a camera? They hired a professional <laughs> photographer. That's hilarious. There, there was a camera there. Well, that's the point. And Cameras also, this was an event Biden was supposed to show up at. Well, that was all a fraud. That was fake. Yeah, he wanted to run it. He wanted to run it as a, you know, to pander to to um, to the veterans, right? To get and he tried to come off like he was the president. He always does that. Yeah, that's the thing that they always every one of his outlets calls him president when he's not president. He used to be president, you know. Yeah. Well, that be. Dana, somebody showed old. I don't know if it's AI though. Someone showed photograph of her in 2016 just really laughing and talking to um, the daughter, Ivanka, and being very happy about Trump getting in. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Although she wasn't terrible. She was just a little bit, she, you know, C CNN is more that way, though. CNN has yeah, more of that. But also George Stephanopoulos really disappointed me when he talked to Biden. Are you sure? Are you sure? It's like, shut up and move on. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that that's the thing. I mean, this is like back in remember in 2016 when they had Trump breaking every rule and they were, they kept hounding Hillary about her emails, you know, which was which come to find out peanuts. that him and his whole family, most of them couldn't get a, an approval for security clearance. Him and his whole family only used their private emails. Yeah, yeah, no, but nobody's too, but... pitching a fit. Yeah, no, it, well, but like someone was saying today that I heard someone say. Uh, this is the idea that now people, over all these years, they their mind is conditioned to think, well, Trump is always abnormal, so we already know that. So now they keep testing the other person to make sure that they're more normal. But it makes it really unfair because he says crazy things, and he does crazy things. This thing with Arlington is awful, totally awful. You know, terrible. I mean, terrible. for the army to make a statement, they say that never him, happens. No, they. It means that they were probably really angry. That he did what he did, right? Yeah. But you know, it could chip, you know, a little bit. I mean, this the these races where it's, you know, it's tight. The idea is chip a little bit here, a little bit there. That's what ends up being the loss eventually. You know. Have you taken a look see at Putin recently? Uh, Putin, I haven't. I haven't done any deep dive in a while. Putin, I put him in the same category as people like Netanyahu, Elon Musk, where they big movements are going is not good for them but and i admit that it's a feeling i have about just the totality of the pattern they're in i mean look at putin where he's in now right he was supposed to be all of a sudden he was winning 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 now now they're in they're inside his country you know, know. which is pretty embarrassing and he he keeps threatening 
World of War, War Three. Well, how's that going to work? What exactly are you going to do? You know, if, if you do something crazy, you're fighting all of NATO. He's that doesn't seem like a good plan. People in jail so they can fight at the front line. Oh, he's been doing that for a long time. He's running out of people. You know, he's yeah. running out of people for sure. And how that, about Marjorie Taylor Greene? Uh, well, she's been in the background for a while. Uh, the only thing with her is, is we had talked about this. You don't see her losing her uh, her seat, right? I don't, but but something feels off with her psychically. I get that. Mm. Maybe the thing would be that next year it catches up with her. You know, next but, year. When... Well, I know whether she wins or not. Jack Smith's coming in with uh, subpoenas. Yeah, well, and the thing about that's it's good you brought that up because Jack Smith, uh, there was some thought earlier that maybe Smith would be doing something important in July, August. Well, nothing like that has happened, but there's still plenty of runway going into like next summer where he's still in there. He rewrote the indictment. He went to another grand jury. You know, he dotted all the all the uh, I's, crossed the T's. He's a real professional. So uh, Trump thinks he's getting away. He's no. really smart. You can't met. He's itching for Trump. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. And so, I mean, the only thing is the margins. And but you feel you said you've looked at cards and you think it's a comfortable enough victory, right? Oh yeah. Well, I saw Biden win last time, but I got to tell you, I keep hearing landslide. Hmm. Well, and, and I think it's the kids that are just now getting to be able to vote kids that had to go through gun gun things in order to be in school. Who wants their kids to have to go through, pretend like a, a, a bad person is here with a gun? No, I mean, a hundred percent. And I see a lot of the young kids saying yes, yes to uh, to Kamala. I, I just feel it. I just think it's going to be a little bigger than we think. And by the way, Mark Elias, who deals with all these awful things that these states are trying to do. He's winning left and right. Mark Elias was who again? Rem He's the guy that deals with uh, people trying to get rid of uh, people's right to vote. He goes oh, yeah. and he sues them. And he's winning all kinds of big, big cases today. He won. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, the one thing that, you know, we're in this era where it's easy to become you know, discouraged, even scared, because you, you just, some of the things you see, you think is completely nuts. But what's really interesting is how on top of it, the media and the Democrats are, you know, so they're now Project 2025, which is desperate to disappear from, he doesn't want to know anything about that. The problem is that his fingerprints are everywhere. Are everywhere. And, and let me you know, tell you, if he had won, which he won't, he would go right back to it. He wouldn't give a crap what anybody thinks. Oh, no, no, 100 percent, 100 percent. And I mean, this is the thing that it's like suckers. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I, I'm hoping that because his chart is so complicated in these next weeks, that especially in the debate that Kamala really hammers at him, you know, for the, you know, what kind of a scoundrel he is, because this thing, I mean, him calling anybody dishonest is a joke. It's a total joke. I mean, the man lives, you know, in dishonestville every second of the day, you know, and right. more and more outrageous, completely, completely wacko. So uh, that's that's my hope. What I noticed, though, I think I said it last time, is that the debate itself doesn't look as bad as the days following the debate, right? Like, because that, that also goes, that's September 10th. And then you get that week where the sentencing is supposed to happen. And that period is... The 18th, is yeah. Or the yeah, that's, that's more challenging because that's where the Mars goes into that place of his chart that he really dislikes. So then the logical projection would be that what comes out of it isn't to his liking, you know, and then that's why he would be And raging. he's a felon. He's out on probation. And look at everything he's getting away with. Yeah, he's well, a felon. Yeah, it's true. No, he's, he's totally, well, again, the, uh, I, I don't know what, I have no idea what Kamala's strategy is around, you know, presenting the case, but to me, I would be saying something, you know, is it or is it not true that you were convicted of, of sexual assault, including that the judge deemed you to be effectively a rapist? That happened. You know, by the way, that was a state case. That was a woman, you know, involved in it. What's that got to do with the Biden administration? You keep saying to everyone how Biden is controlling that. That was just a woman that, you know, you say you don't know, seem to not know a lot of people. You, have, you see your memory, you know, <laughs> 
<laughs> seems to abandon you. Remember, he confused her with his wife. Yeah. She looked at the pictures. Yeah. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I mean, that anybody votes for this guy is beyond the pale. But it's the country we're in. I mean, I'm well, sorry. Because you know, he's to say reversing, that. because he's so desperate, he's reversing his stance on abortion. That will kill him. And also, yeah. Robert Kennedy thought he was going to do a fast one and come off the ballot, but he didn't do his homework. And now he's stuck on the ballot in the swing states. Yeah, and I, I, I suspect, I think uh, Kennedy will probably just disappear because I don't think Trump is going to get too close to him because then people will start to link JFK to him. And JFK is a really strange person, really strange. This he thing with the whale. The heads off of things and... This thing, with, he went with a chainsaw to cut off the head of a whale. This is like watching a, one of those horror movies on Netflix when you, you know. And he's what? got a worm in his brain. Well, you that and then the bear and, you know, and the whole thing. And, and uh, I know I saw a comment on uh, someone said on my channel that JFK, he's not anti-vax. He just wants uh, safer vaccines. You know, this is a made up story. This guy he's is anti-vax. He's not a scientist. No, no. And, 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 you know, this thing with COVID, I mean, COVID, the vaccine saved a lot of lives. Why is that even in question? It's because people don't want to trust the data in front of them. Of course, some people react, but hey, turn on your TV. They're trying to sell you 10 different drugs. The first, the first side effect sometimes is death. You, you see how they do that? They'll say, this could kill you. And then they go, could also give you diarrhea. They always give you the, the, the easy, the less thing at the end, because apparently psychologically, you get rid of the bad thing. The worst is you could die. Then you might get a headache and whatever, right? But lots and lots of side effects, right? With common drugs. So you can't expect they're putting out millions of vaccines. Some people will react, but by and large, right? You protect society. And this idea with the way they think would be, well, we're not going to vaccinate kids. He even said this. He said something about how uh, parents should have the option to opt out. Well, if you opt out, you could infect everybody, right? Yeah, which is already happening. Yeah, no, precisely. So he, to me, he's a crank. This man is a crank, you know, and I hear that his wife is really upset. Good, I'm glad, you know. Why is she That's upset? It. Because his wife didn't want him to endorse Trump. And- Oh, you know, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's the one. Remember the wife, she's, she was on Curb Your Enthusiasm? Yeah. Of course, then you have to ask, why did you marry this guy? Because, you know, he seems- I don't know what the no idea, but the Kennedys, of course, all his siblings are really upset. This yeah. has happened a number of you times. That put a black stain on them, but oh, good. They they let everybody know this guy's a whack job. We got nothing to do with him. Yeah, and and that would have been this was what I had uh, seen in him that when the Jupiter, it's you know he had the same pattern as DeSantis. They had this run up to about mid this year, and then it ends, and that's what happened. His numbers dropped, dropped, dropped but he's still there, you know, we don't know what the effect will be, but he might be nothing, you know, it might just be like- I think way. he's gonna end up a nothing burger. I don't, I think he's a laughing stock, but he's supposed to be on the team with, uh, with uh, what's that female's name? Who had the uh, gray street, Telsey G Gabbard? Oh yeah, she's another one. She's the another transition one. team with Trump. He's hired the two of them to do the transition team. They're not yeah. going to be any team. And by the way, she's still on the do not fly list for terrorists. She is? Yes, she is. She complained about it on a news program. Wow. Well, I, I hear that, uh, where did I hear? So I heard it somewhere that she is being, she's supposed to help him with debate prep because she really got in Kamala's face back in 2019. But that's a big, that's a big mistake. I wouldn't do that. She's probably going to tell him, get really aggressive and get in there. Be careful when you do this with because she's not only a prosecutor, she's really found her confidence, you know, and she's quite sure of herself. You get in there, then she's going to start punching back. It could get really ugly, you know, so. Uh, he's not afraid to punch back. No, not at all. Or, or even just ask really good questions. Well, somebody asked me, I don't know if they stand at the podium or is it going to be like Hillary walking around? Is he going to stand up behind her? Because you know, I don't see Kamala taking it i see her saying get the hell away from me i think it's not it's not a town hall i think they're it's like when they uh they were biden and him were 
Because I would say, oh, my God, what's that smell? Oh, it's you. Get away. <laughs> I, I know. I, it's sort of surprising that Hillary, probably Hillary today would do that. But back then, you know, we, we hadn't yet really understood. Oh, you know? someone said, oh, it's one of my favorite people. I can't even, I, I can see your face. Anyway, she's on MSNBC. He, he, Trump said, I'm going to do IF, IVF. And and the and your insurance is going to pay for it. I'm going to make sure. See, he changed his stance. Or, or the government? No, he said the government. Well, the government is going to pay for it. Otherwise, the, the insurance. insurance. Yeah. She said, or actually, Mexico is going to pay for it. Yeah, no, and I mean, like that's the thing. This is the thing that uh, it's, again, <laughs> it's up to Kamala or whoever to present the case to say you've been you first. You said you were going to punish women for doing it. Then you said not. Then you said no to IVF. Now you say yes. Then, then in your manifesto, it says that they're going to take away mifepristone. I mean, we don't know where you are, but hey, you know what it is? People don't trust you, and they shouldn't. I wouldn't trust yeah. you. I yeah. wouldn't trust you with a nickel. You know, there's no way. You'll exactly. just do whatever you want, which is what you always do. You know. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the thing. Um, exactly. So, what's the, any anything else on the books? But we'll probably meet next week because you know there's going to be more to talk about. Yeah, and the other thing will be that as we go toward toward that later in the fall, we can start focusing more on some of the key races, like one that I found, you know, it's pretty revealing because Arizona is showing pretty tight, you know, although now she's leading, by the way, that's really interesting, right? Cause Arizona, it, Ar Harris leads in Arizona now by a couple of points, right? Oh, wow. Uh, and she's leading the only state I thought you that... meant Carrie Lake. I was going to be like, what? No, no, Carrie Lake. No, no, Carrie Lake is behind by a, by a lot, double digits now with Gallego. So I'm always wondering, okay, like, why would there be such a big gap between Carrie Lake and Ruben Gallego? Someone goes to vote. What would possess you to vote for Ruben Gallego and then vote for Trump? That doesn't make any sense because yeah. they're rejecting that insanity case, you know, because Carrie Lake is always going on about... They stole the election. Evidence? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no evidence. Never shows up with any evidence, right? So why would you vote for Trump? So my point being that as we go later into the fall, the more individual races like that one is one. There's also um, Sherrod Brown in Ohio. There's uh, the guy in Missouri. Because uh, what about what do you feel about Dester in Montana? What's been your? Any... I think he's going to win. Well then, because that would be key. I've been no. showing winning. We can't I know lose, both, but I, I feel like the people will say, you know, he's actually a good guy. Yeah, well, that that's going to be key because the, the, we have to win the presidency, the House and the Senate or, you know, it's going to be a deadlock again. I mean, mostly. Yeah. So it's, it's super important. I think he's going to I think he's going to win. I think there's a couple of senators who are Republicans that are going to lose. Yeah, you know, that, that would make sense. I'm going to do, I'm going to start looking at more charts, even though it's hard to get times, you know, for some of these yeah. guys, you can only get. Hey, listen, birthday. I saw a thing on Carrie Lake. I don't know if you saw it. She was talking at some event that Trump was at. And there's a, they, they took a picture behind her and there's a white thing. And it says, please get off. Your time is up. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> and then I told her Trump is waiting. I, they had to force her off the damn stage, but then Trump campaign wrote her and told her to stop posting pictures of Trump with her because his numbers go down when she does that. I know. Well, that, that's the thing that you know when you're in a when you're in a fight in a battle, and you start having to defend too many points, it's like someone at war, like the way Hitler was fighting wars, go after England, Russia, fight everybody. That that doesn't work. It's just too many open fronts. And this is what Trump is facing now because he plugs this. It's like whack-a-mole. Then the other thing comes up because he's okay. Well, I'm at IVF. Then he gets the the pro-life people because they're really committed. You know, they, really? they say you should be really clear. Now they're hounding him about Florida. Which way are you going to vote? It's really really complicated. So. You know what? And this will be interesting since he's doing this. It'd be interesting to see if the polls start going down for him. Well, they, they have, you know, the latest uh, polls. I, I'm not surprised that he's flailing around and trying different things because pretty much everywhere you see the trend. I mean, even if you say, well, it's hard to know because sometimes you see a poll and it's five points then the next one it's even, you know, so they, you keep taking polls. But when you see all of them, pretty much all of them, Harris is either 
really close or has a lead, like one point ahead or the, the worst is being, say, even, right? So yeah, definitely yeah. It's, it's, it's going well. Yeah, That's absolutely. Great. Well, thank you so much, my friend. All right. That was fun as always. We'll resume again next week. Okay. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.